Good afternoon, good morning. This is Mark Johnson from Loyalty360. I want to welcome you to another interview in our Meet the Speaker series. Uh, today, we are joined by Bill Time, the Vice President of Marketing for King Arthur Flower. Uh, Bill, thanks very much for taking the time to talk with us today. Yeah, Mark, thanks for having me. Uh, looking forward to uh, your uh, virtual expo session uh, coming up. And uh, actually, you and I have spent a little bit of time kind of talking about what you do and how you do it, and obviously some of the transition you've gone through during uh, kind of the COVID-19 uh, summer. Um, so it should be a very interesting discussion, I think, for sure. So can you tell us a little bit more uh, about yourself and your role with King Arthur Flower? Sure. I, I've been at King Arthur for uh, almost 11 years, and I'm the head of marketing now. Before that, I, I was uh, the general manager and, and, and managed our direct-to-consumer business. Um, and so I, I generally have a really good understanding of how we approach uh, marketing, how we approach loyalty with our consumers. Um, I got to King Arthur in kind of a winding path, you know, starting, you know, my early in my career, I was at NASA. Uh, and then kind of transitioned to, to more media and, and spent some time at America's Test Kitchen, which at the time was the number one uh, cooking show on public television. And, and so that really um, led me to a place like King Arthur, where, where um, you know, it, it's, it's people's lifestyle. Like it's a hobby. Baking is a hobby. And, and, and so it really we're not just a product company and, and it's a fun place to be. I couldn't I couldn't be happier uh, for my time here. And, and it's a great match from who I am. That's awesome. Um, earlier this year, uh, we interviewed you, uh, kind of talked about some of the things you were going through uh, in the summer. Uh, you saw a sudden spike in demand for King Arthur flour as COVID hit, quarantines went, in, went into place, behaviors uh, sort of changed a little bit. Uh, for those who may not be familiar with your story, uh, can you tell us uh, what you saw and kind of how you managed it? Sure. I mean, it was, March was incredible. We It was right before Easter. So we, we were leading up to a traditional baking holiday. Uh, so we had a lot of inventory, but could never have expected the shift. I mean, in, by, by early April, we were seeing sales, you know, six times normal sales, our direct to consumer uh, business, our, our website was, was breaking records every single day. Um, and fortunately, we have a really strong connection, direct connection to our consumers. So we jumped right in uh, and started asking them what they were doing. And realized really early in the pandemic that people were baking a lot. It, they weren't buying the products because they were stockpiling where some of other categories were seeing that. They were actually baking. And that that led us down a path that we believed it was going to be sustained at a pretty elevated level. Uh, and now, you know, seven, eight months later, that's been really important because some of the shifts we made early on, the big investments in our supply chain uh, are now paying off because some of those were long lead times. And we've had new packaging lines get up and running. We just launched a new, a new eight pound uh, resealable flower bag for, for the e-commerce channel that is, is providing a huge uh, resiliency to our supply chain, he now heading into the busiest baking time of the year and probably the biggest baking season we'll see for decades. That's awesome. And as your brand gained fans over the spring, over the summer, uh, kind of what they wanted from you changed a little bit. Uh, you know, how are you working to keep those new bakers engaged? And how do these engagement efforts tie to your larger customer loyalty efforts? Sure. So, you know, my team, they approach the consumer first and foremost with the concept of just, just be helpful. And so, you know, right now, part of that is like working with operations and sales to make sure that 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 we can, you know, keep our, our supply up. But certainly early in the pandemic, there were new bakers uh, and regular bakers baking a lot more frequently or baking something different. And they quickly pivoted, changed what we were doing, pulled back on promotional marketing and put a ton of effort into new content, content to help people get up to speed on baking baking a different way. Potentially it was a, somebody that was baking weekly. So, you know, a very, you know, seasoned baker, but they don't have yeast anymore. And so we, we help them transition from yeast baking to sourdough baking. And, and I think that's the first and foremost, what we've taken the last seven or eight months and always just tried to meet the consumer by being helpful. That's uh, it, it, it's certainly been a journey and, and we're hearing great, great responses from our customers. Well, that's great. It if for those who may not be familiar with your product, uh, you're, you're kind of kind of a high end flower product. Uh, but there's different ways that um, customers can engage with you, the brand. You can in store, they can directly uh, kind of be part of the loyalty program, the subscription program. They can take classes online or in person. You know, 
How has the ways that uh, individuals are engaging with you changed and how do you see that changing in the future? Well, like, like I said, we're not just a product company. We really are uh, a f- kind of a full service baking company. And, and that has historically led us to have in-person schools. We have a school here in Vermont. We have another school north of Seattle on the West Coast. We've actually temporarily closed the West Coast school and our Vermont school can only accept half the amount of students into any particular class because of COVID uh, regulations. And so we're now offering virtual classes, which that allows people from all over the country to to have uh, somewhat of a similar experience with with our professional bakers. Um, our, our ba- we have a baker's hotline that it's a free hotline. It's open seven days a week. It's staffed with professional bakers and folks that have worked in bakeries. And so at any given time, you can call and, and ask a, a really detailed question and get a professional to, to help you uh, through that challenge. Because so many people are baking, we've had to, you know, in times triple that team. Um, awesome. But make sure that we, trip, we, we add team members that are professional bakers. We can't just put anyone on that team. And so people can really experience our brand and engage with us in many different ways. I think what they mostly probably see, because it's the biggest audience, is our digital channels, our website you know, thousands of recipes, online tutorials and videos, uh, and our social media has a, has a really large audience and people are able to engage there as well. Okay, great. And what are a few key takeaways uh, the attendees can expect to learn by uh, you know, listening to your session? Well, I think, you know, th- there's no right way to approach marketing or, or, or you know, loyalty. And, and I think what you'll, you'll learn is how we've approached it uh, and, and how we've approached it from a company that actually has uh, customers that that have baking as part of their lifestyle. So for 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 companies that have a similar um, customer, that that I think that'll be really interesting. We've also, uh, interestingly enough, gone through a major brand relaunch. We changed our company name from King Arthur Flour to King Arthur Baking Company to really um, bring that to customers' attention that we are a baking company. And and so uh, folks will learn a little bit about how how and why we did that and and how we did that during a pandemic. <laughs> Well, that's awesome. Bill, uh, very much looking forward to the session and uh, it uh, is a great story and uh, looking forward to hearing more about the, the brand relaunch as well. Thanks. Looking forward to it. All right. Perfect. Thank you.